Welcome everyone. Here's another uh, visualization tool. Uh, these things can be found on, um, these type of tools can be found on places like eBay, Amazon, Etsy, all the usual places that you can go to to find uh, basic tools. Now, visualization is very, very critical as I've went over and I'm trying to show you different ways of doing it. And uh, this is a, a method that we uh, included with some of our tools in the past. We do have my professional tool that is out there uh, for sale online. Um, if you're interested in doing that, and everybody should have a visualization tool. If you don't have that, you're not manifesting right or well. And, uh, you know, it's nice to go out and get yourself a nice shiny new car, but it would help if you knew how to drive it. So that's all part of it. So with something like this, now these are basically... Um, shapes that fit into these squares. Let's see if we can find one here. Is that one? No. Um, or is this it? This looks like it here. So shapes, and these are to teach uh, children on how to find shapes that fit in things, which is good training. This is also a great shifting tool as well. Uh, shifting away from the common into that. But basically what you're doing here is you're, uh, you separate these. Again, these are the type of practices you need to do every day. You need to practice your visualization every day. Keep it honed. Keep that muscle toned, looking good and working right. Okay, it's very, very important that you do that with your visualization because that's the kind of energy you're putting into a dial machine, our side generators, etc. And if you're not doing that, you're going to run into problems. You can't manifest well. That's because you're not doing what you need to do. Okay, so you put your uh, all of your uh, basic boards that you're going to fit your shapes in. Again, these shapes then fit on some of these boards. So now what you do is you get the shapes and you put them in the bag here. This comes with this bag. And there may be different sizes of these things. This is a very common toy for children, uh, teaching them um, some basic skills here uh, for life in general. So you put all these in the bag. Now, of course, you know, it's that feel. Now, when you feel for something, you automatically kick in your visualization. Your mind goes ahead and it tries to figure out what is happening and tries to put the pieces together. Now, there's two ways to do this. You can search for something and maybe you want to start off easy searching for the triangle. Then you would put your actual hand in the box without looking in the bag, without looking and search for the triangle. So I think I found this. Um, and now what you're doing is that when you're looking at this and you're touching the triangle in here in the, ba in the bag, your mind instantly pictures the triangle. There's no way you can't not picture the triangle. That's called visualization, which a lot of people claim they can't do. So this is a pretty easy shape to find. So there we go. I did find the right one, and that fits in there. Oh, oh, oh this is that amazing. So the whole idea is that uh, that's the process of practicing, and you can do this almost any place, any time. Again, remember the three rules of learning. Do things at a high level of enthusiasm. Yeah, yeah, I can do it. I'm, I'm feeling good, etc. If you're tired or other things that don't work good, it's just a waste of time. The other things you want to do is you want to do it for short periods of time. Something like this you should do for three or four minutes at the most. And then, of course, repeat, repeat. So you do it for four minutes, then you do it again later in the day, in the nighttime, before you go to bed. Anytime that you can kind of concentrate at a higher level. So, uh, we can, again, let's see, this looks like an E, and you want to do easy stuff first. You, this is not about testing you off how hard it can be. It's about being successful and moving on. This will switch your thinking as a shifting tool out of the common into the uncommon, and this also is a great visualization. So let's see if we can find another one here. Uh, let's see if we can find that kind of crossy-looking thing. And you're feeling around. What is it? What's that shape? Um, it's better if you look like this instead of just finding one that you think is right. This makes it a little harder uh, to do. Now, that's not it. Uh, 
Yeah, that's not it. Find something. So this is where, you know, when you're getting into the more advanced stuff uh, that you have to search around. Now, there's many pieces in here and there. Some of them are pretty similar. So finding something uh, that is um, similar, I mean, that is that is the exact one is where things get to be a little bit difficult. Um Well, I'm having trouble finding this. I just found this, so let's pull that out. Yeah, that fits right in there. And then that's the... Uh, so you feel around, you can make it harder or difficult, but the whole idea is not to make it difficult. Do it right, get jazzed by the fact, oh yeah, it's working, I'm doing great, and then move on. If you struggle and you fatigue yourself, you're not uh, serving any purpose. And particularly if you struggled a little when you end something, make sure you end it quick and uh, as successful. So you always start off successful by, like with this, easy to find, start successful, and you always end successful. Let's say that was it, because that was another easy one to find. And that way you are uh, able to detect. Now, there are higher and lower levels of this. We have many visualization. Watch all the videos that show you how to visualize and what's going on there, uh, because this is a critical, critical skill, and it's as simple as doing that. The problem with visualization is that all these books and other things out there that talk about visualization, the secret, and everything else, uh, they give you very poor, only cerebral way of doing things, meaning it's just your mind, you're just your consciousness. You you have to incorporate the feel in it. You have to, it should have colors. It should make it exciting. Your consciousness, your higher self doesn't like to be bored. Give it a stupid task and it will return stupid for stupid. So you have to do something with it. And again, don't waste your time. Don't spend um, too long on it. Move, go through it. You're done and then move on. Then you could take all this stuff put it back in the box and the bag and you are done. You put it all together and you have this thing which you could, you know, you can take something like this and we can put these together. You can take something like this and um, you can actually uh, take this with you if you wanted to. Do it at... Um, do it at lunch, do it in a private place, do it someplace where uh, you can take a few minutes. Again, you're not doing this for long periods of time. The other thing you're doing is uh, it's good to be in a place that's not as easy to concentrate because it it then forces you to up your skills and abilities to function in some place that may be a little strange or maybe there's a little activity um, uh, to do all this stuff. Um, and this is... Uh, Guide Craft USA, creator of fine wooden toys that teach... You may want to look up that company just in general. I believe these were purchased off of eBay. I'm not sure. But a lot of people, you, a lot of things like this you can find on the usual criminals, eBay, Amazon, Etsy, and uh, be able to get these. Uh, maybe you can find these inexpensively. Believe it or not, stuff like this and educational toys are fairly expensive. Uh, so find something. Uh, maybe you can find it in some Goodwill or other things if you want to watch your prices. Um, but uh, these are something uh, you want to find a tool and you want to vary this. This is fairly variable. It has different shapes. There's other things. And, of course, you can check out what's in the box that I made uh, recently, another video. And all of these are great helps. But remember, all of these skills are muscles. You have to pump the psychic iron if you expect to get the psychic muscle and the extreme abilities from it. Just how all of life is. And we all have to deal with that as a reality out there. Nothing is um, uh, easy or comes naturally. What you've got to do is you have to practice easy, simple, and make it very fun. I always like to make things fun because as a person who struggled uh, through learning with horrible dyslexia, um, the bottom line is, is that if it's not interesting, forget about it. And I'm still at that right now, is that if something bores me or I don't give it credibility, forget about it. I'm not going to learn it. Uh, it's just as simple as that. Uh, so you want to do something that is fun, it's interesting, and maybe you find different things. I've shown you other things uh, that, you, that you can use as well, but this 
is a pretty good kit with a fair amount of variants. You may like it, you may not. Uh, find other ones, as I've demonstrated. There's other things you can put in a bag and identify that has cards with it, etc. Uh, that you can do. So make it fun, make it interesting, and you should vary this. But this is something you should do every day. And as I said, if you do this two or three times a day, you're probably putting in five, 10 minutes. That's the kind of training I like to do. And it's very effective because you're going into it excited. You're not bored. I got to do that again. How long does it take? This is what our mind tells us all the time to basically sabotage you. Uh, but ultimately, that's not the case whatsoever if you do fun stuff for short periods of time. If you do things for short periods of time, your entire regular mind and your consciousness loves it because you're done with it. Let's move on and do something else. Me want eat food. Me want eat drinky. So the whole idea is this is what your consciousness, or I should say your lower self mind is telling you. You can get over that by doing things quick simple and exciting. These are wood. They feel nice. They're colors, they're shapes. That's the kind of stuff that you want to have uh, stimulating your mind. Uh, people who think somehow that these aren't serious tools don't know what they're talking about. Um, uh, the um, All of the top parapsychology uh, schools um, uh, taught this. The Princeton's uh, Engineering School and everything else all use tools of many different types similar to this um, and others uh, to train their people with because they're so effective and interesting, quick and easy. That's what it's all about. Learn how to learn, train in a particular way, follow my guidelines and you will be successful. And the sky is the limit for those people who follow the systems. Until, mo uh, until next time, people.